welcome back. I'm Tedward. Welcome to a rainy day here in Asheville, North Carolina, and welcome to the 2023 GMC Canyon Denali. This is the new mid-sized truck from GM. It's a little gussied up which is with its standard 20-inch chrome wheels on the Denali, and we've got a pretty clever interior. We've already driven the Colorado, so we get an idea of what these trucks are like. It has a 2.7-liter turbo, four-cylinder making 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. That's right, this is the high output version of the 2.7 liter we like that we've got the short bed the quad cab unfortunately that's the only way you can kind of get away with these things now i know a lot of people especially on the work truck would have preferred the longer bed so you know let me show you around while it's not pouring rain very similar to colorado the same familiar little case in here so that way you can store a few things water tight unless you open it to the rain and reasonable amount of space in this bed with some power, which is helpful for those of you who are working out of these trucks with some power tools or compressors. Inside. This is where this is definitely a step above what we saw in the Colorado when we did that test drive because man, oh man, does this feel like a superior trim. Yes, we still have an armrest with cup holders, nice stuff. You've got USB and USB-C charge ports down here, additional cup holders here. I think the real story about this is that you can get your mid-size truck with some style and the Denali name always carries with it the appearance of some class that's why we got chrome baby i'm wearing my fancy new peloti shoes so i figured that kind of does the trick for this let's take a quick peek under the hood even though we already know what's in there under the hood our tight little package here with our four cylinder tucked low and far back now even though this is the gussied up denali trim we don't get hood stretch you still get a prop bar for that so there you go. I'm not a huge fan of chrome, but hey, when you have Denali on it, it makes sense. And this step, oh, what a lovely step. I could have used that on the Silverado ZR2 that I had last week because that was kind of a pain to get in and out of with the rocker guards. Also, really digging this teak. That teak, man, that is like kind of nicer than I anticipated would be in this vehicle. So let's get it started up. Nice center display, 11.3 inches, I believe. Apple CarPlay, all the goodies there, we like that. And something that I really like while I put my phone in the wireless charger is that we still get physical buttons and knobs for our HVAC controls. I have got ventilated and heated seats. I cannot use them at the same time. That's always a weird thing to do, but I kind of like to. So, you know, a little bummed I can't do that. That's okay. I have a lovely soft leather wrapped steering wheel. This is much nicer than the leather wrapped wheel that I found on the ZR2 Silverado. So good for them. Shift it in a drive and take it for a ride. Now you probably know me as more of a sports car guy, not a truck guy, but I've been driving more and more trucks over the past year to kind of get a vibe for things and see what I would like if I were to buy a truck because it's no surprise, a pickup truck is an incredibly powerful tool to have in your garage. It's really nice to have something that's so versatile, so durable, and you know, in New England, especially, we get such horrible winters where you get potholes all over the place. It's not fun. And I love a vehicle that you can just go slam around some ugly surfaces and not worry about blowing up the, the low profile tires on your sporty car. Oof. First impressions. I feel like the Denali, this is smooth. And I, and I do genuinely feel like I'm in a bit of luxury. They did it. It's not fake. It's not, <laughs> it's not just wooden leather. It actually does feel kind of nice. I do feel like I'm in a good spot. I do feel like I'm in a place that 
earned the price tag because I believe this starts at about fifty-one to fifty-two thousand dollars. But it's capable. It's not just like the little baby truck that can't. It is capable of towing up to 7,700 pounds. That does the job for most people in most things. Now, of course, there's people who need to go get like some big fancy 2,500 or super duty thing in a, you know, a diesel truck with a, a thousand pound feet of torque. I get it. That exists. But for the lay person, the person who just needs the Tacoma, doesn't necessarily need the, the big heavy Silverado this is gonna do the job and also I feel like this is not a small vehicle the problem with little trucks back in the day it always felt like a little truck you get in a Ford Ranger and you're like it's just like a dinky little Ford Ranger or like a Chevy S10 fine automobiles as they are they were more El Caminos than trucks let's put it that way whereas this like it genuinely feels like I'm in a truck it genuinely feels like I have the ground clearance, I have the off-road capability and I have the towing capacity to get the job done. The difference is if you need a longer bed or not because this is just not available in the long bed or a two-door where you can keep the same length of vehicle but extend that bed. But let's talk about this engine. People aren't so keen on giving up their V6s from the previous generation, Canyon and Colorado, or giving up their V8s from their larger brethren. Now, this is interesting to me because this four-cylinder turbo produces more power, more torque. It's probably more robust and more responsive than that of the V6 it replaces. And yet people still aren't quite on board. Now I do understand when it comes to forced induction that maybe they don't want a turbo that's more complicated. It's got more failure modes, all that stuff. But from what I've seen, from what I've seen with the team, the engineering team, here at GMC and Chevrolet, they they seem to have done their due diligence. And the stress tests that they've put these engines through are no small feats. These things have withstood some pretty vile abuse. Let's see, is he going out that way? All right, he's not just backing up the thing. No problem, man, you got it. I always kind of respect, as much as Amazon is the evil empire, I order from them and I, and I respect the guys who are gonna deliver my packages. <laughs> I don't wanna smash up their vans especially in this. Now, some funny things about this. You've got all these buttons, all these knobs, that's great, but what it doesn't have is it doesn't have a button for the headlight. You actually have to go through this screen to get to that, which is such a bizarre choice. It is so odd, but such is life. Look at this. This engine just kind of dragging me out under a little bit of throttle, under 2000 RPM. This thing is just such a workhorse. And I'm really impressed with how it adapts to just like low RPM situations. It is a torque monster and it really is smooth. This is the thing, like the thing that I really want to validate about this new platform. And I'm not just trying to blow smoke up their bums. It, it is a nice engine to live with because of that low end torque. You don't need to wait for that turbo to finally breathe because the turbo will kind of give, the, the, the compromise there is that the turbo is not gonna be like some big turbo super pulling the red line super, super hard. We get into it. You know, up near that red line, while it's still pulling for sure, you're not getting that same shunt in the back of your seat. And this eight-speed auto, full throttle, shifts smoothly. It's a good place to be. It feels like it's working with me. It doesn't feel like it's gear hunting. The steering feels pretty nice. It's light, it's easy. I feel like I'm intuitively just adapting to the car. I don't feel like I have to go and put in any bizarre amount of effort. Sometimes you get in some like old trucks and you do genuinely feel like, holy cow, I don't know where I'm going. I, I thought I was pointing the truck this way or whoa, I need to put in a little more lock. That's scary. Uh, you know, this does feel natural and intuitive, which is a very good thing. Oh, I guess I guess that was a sign that I need to do a U-turn. <laughs> this girl has been dealing with this all day. You've probably seen a lot of us today, haven't you? Hi. 
<laughs> we're doing, this is the new um, GMC Colorado. So we're doing like a press launch and they gave us a map and it looks like it comes this way, but we're supposed to turn down there. So I'm sorry, you've probably seen a lot of us today. <laughs> I'm gonna do a, do a U-turn. Oh yeah, they gave us some off-roading. Nothing crazy, but enough that I can kind of test out this suspension. Now this isn't the AT4X with its DSS V, you know, three valve dampers, but this is not beating me up. It's not shattering my teeth, but it's stiffer, of course, but I like this. This is fun. This is fun. Oh, now we're talking. Some big bumps coming up. Let's hope we don't bend one of these big 20 inch wheels. We still have plenty of sidewall, so I think we'll be just fine. I'm usually not the most abusive person on these press trips, so I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure if it was gonna bend a wheel, someone already would have done it. And I'd have gotten a warning about it. Hey, be careful on that dirt road. Who doesn't love tackling a dirt single track road in the wet. This is the stuff that just brings me joy. I love driving. And when you get to drive on say like a loose surface in a fun thing, sometimes it doesn't even matter how fun it is. It could be a STI or it could be a pickup truck. It's just fun to drive on things that you don't normally get to drive on. And this is not my daily life. Little quality control check on the fit and finish. I don't hear any squeaks or rattles. And I'm gonna tell you, if they were in this vehicle, well, they might be now, <laughs> but they, they would be showing their ugly faces right about now. And the low end torque of this engine is so delicious. It's right there for me. Oh, I'm glad I came out. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna drive this today. I was gonna wait for the AT4X tomorrow, take a nap, go for a run today. But now I'm really glad that I came out to play in this. This is a blast. Oh, what a cool road! This is fun. Look at this. It's like the tail of the dragon in the woods. Into it. I'm trying to be a little cautious around anything blind, just because you know you can't see what's coming at you. And I don't want to have. Eddie X flying down the other way in another Denali. Oh, this is awesome. It's so much fun to do this with like a leather wrap steering wheel. Like I feel like I should be in some like, you know, down and dirty rally car and yet I'm in like my Canyon Denali with lovely teak, a, a nice Bose sound system. Go nice and gentle here. No one's coming up. Great. Oh, this is just the friggin' coolest. Look at this road. Can you imagine if this was paved? Straight up rally stage. I mean, I guess it's a rally stage like this. Might have some issues with ground clearance on the Subarus, though. No issues in the pickup truck. And that's what makes this fun, is that I actually get to tackle this without just tiptoeing around it. But look at this. We're going onto the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh, I'm so happy. Who knew? was unaware because the last time I was here, I was in a Porsche. And you know what you can't do in a Porsche? This, not unless you buy like the Dakar. There's Eddie. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, I've never been down one of those. I've, I've had so much like Blue Ridge experience, but I've never done that. To the fog. <laughs> we're, I mean, we're in the clouds. Fog. This is a friggin' cloud. This is awesome. I do love me some North Carolina mountain roads. This is good stuff. And look at this. This is a comfortable truck. This is fun. I am happy. I like this truck. I understand. I understand people's consternation. I understand people's concerns when it comes to a four cylinder in their work truck and all that stuff. But I gotta say, like the proof is in the driving. 
So I would not underestimate this just yet. If you're just like, hey, no, need my V6, need my V8, like give it a shot, go drive it because it doesn't sound great. You don't get like an amazing, you know, fun sound out of this thing, but under your foot, it absolutely does the job. So overall, oh, perfect, a tunnel. Hang on, if we're talking about sound. How creepy is this? <laughs> Listen to the turbo. Listen to this turbo. Ready? Get into it again. Too cool. So anyway, if you're looking for a mid-sized truck that got that has some luxury, that has some some flair, some fun, but also just I mean, what a daily driver to have with this lovely leather wrapped wheel, nice sound system, a little wood grain, got some style, but also totally floggable, thrashable, and toes things. Don't overlook this GMC, whether you get the Canyon or the Colorado, go take a look. And I like the high output four cylinder. I think it gets the job done pretty nicely. Of course, of course I'd rather have a V8, but this is gonna be more economical and I've got so much torque because of this turbo. So thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive and I'll see you in the next one.